Good news, oh, my people. Not be smarty day happen. So as I must tell you, you guess you got to know. You don't understand us, so you got to know. Now our brother Runo Mokri, he does send message. You say stop going to foreign medical trip. Reduce your convoy. Runo Mokri to to Tinubu. Say Tinubu, tell Nigerians the truth now. You can't that they tell us say you won't serve. You want make people they understand. Make people bear, but you know they bear anything. You know they be anything. You only your convoy now 124. Wow. Are you setting a new rate and a new president? Are you setting a new rate? We need to understand it because we don't know. Uh -huh. And we small people don't know, so they ask question. And they say they ask who they ask question, not the misrule. We need to understand it. Are you setting a new president? Yes, you're setting a new president. You want us to move with you and understand what you're doing and everything. Excuse me. From where to where exactly? So these are some of the things where they happen. Every single person now they wonder. So now they tell us, say, stop this your medical trip. You just they start. No, start on a bad note. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Let's get all the details. Breaking news. Stop going on foreign medical trip. Reduce your convoy. Reno Mokri tells Tinubu. Runo Mokri, an ex aide to former president, good luck. To, form, to former president, good luck, has sent message to President Bola Metinubu following the uproar about his 124 cars convoy. Runo Mokri urged Tinubu to get, and get off his high horse, cost, cut wastage in the country, and avoid such display of recklessness, which is not needed. He also called on Tinubu to put an end to sponsorship of pilgrimage to Mecca or Jerusalem. Omokri, in a tweet on his, on his official Twitter handle, also advised the president to stop funding medical trip for himself and other elected appointed government officials, as well as reduce the number of vehicles in his convoy. This was not what you promised Nigerians, but you have started on a bad note. This is not how to go about things. You promised Nigerians you will work for them. However, this is not what you have been involved in or engaged in. You have totally forgotten your promise. You told Nigerians something different, totally, completely different. You yourself, now you are doing something opposite to what you said. Excuse me. Where? How do we reconcile all of this? Because we don't know you. You are now a different person altogether. You know, you came and you told Nigerians you will serve. Runo Mokri has warded President Bola Metinobu. Come off your eye horse. Tell Nigerians the truth. You cannot continue to lie to the people. You told the people you will serve with honor and integrity. However, this you have not upheld. You have left the people thinking. You asked them to manage that there were difficult times ahead. However, yourself, you're managing nothing. You're living in the most in the most of affluence and influential season. You are enjoying every bit and everything that comes with it. And you are telling us that, oh, uh, people should manage. It's just a trying time. But you have one round. What do you need one round 24 cars for in your convoy? What do you need it for? What do you really need it for? Is a question because he needs an answer. He however commended the decision of the federal government to stop direct funding of professional bodies and councils, such as National Examination Council NECO and West African Examination Council from 2026. Popularly, uh, Runo Mokri said Tinubu, President Tinubu has done well in ending the federal government funding of professional bodies and councils, but that is not the most significant waste in the country. The president should also stop funding foreign health care for himself and other elected public officers. He may also want to end federal government sponsorship and pilgrimage to Mecca and Jerusalem. Both gestures will save the country much more than the crumbs from the table, which he says is trying to curb. There are real issues to be sorted out. The real giants to be dealt with have not been dealt with. He should leave the crumbs and face the real issue. There is more to be done rather than going after the small fry. Why not go after the ones that make, make real sense and bring Nigeria out of the current 
insecurity, financial instability, financial struggling, and much more that is going on. Nigerians need to know if really you are working for them or you are just saying words which really have no say. So this is Runo, Runo Mokri, and um, it's coming on Tinubu, okay? Uh, he's saying that, uh, you know, we, we, don't want, uh, we don't want you to remain uh, in the same place, okay? You told us that you will serve. You want to do A, B, C, D, Z. But well, really, as I said it, really, it's like you're, not, you're doing none of that. You're absolutely, completely doing none of that. You're doing your own thing, and we don't understand where you are up to. We don't understand what you're working for. And what you really, what you, you don't know what you really desire. What you think you desire is not what you really, is not what you are having. What you think you desire is a totally different matter altogether. You're going off the, you're going off the, the track, you know, you're funding, um, uh, you're funding trips to Mecca, you are doing other things, but you're not paying attention to what really should be. You're not paying attention to what really should be. You are doing other things. You're doing other things. You're, you're, you're going abroad for your own medical care. You have, depo you have released 6,000 uh, plus uh, for dollars for each of the officers' medical trip. But you have not done that for, you know, for the people, for the citizens who are supposed to be, you are supposed to be enjoying the benefits of being in a country. But you do it for yourself and your colleagues. This is not how to live. So Runo Mokri is making it really crystal clear that unless Tinubu begins to, you know, iron out those areas, he feels he's, you know, he's, he's, he feels, uh, you know, those areas and where he's talking about and those things he's doing really sincerely, truly have no meaning. And, and if anything is going to change, there's going to have to be differences and nobody should take it for granted. So this is what is happening. This is part of what is going on. And every single person is beginning to watch and see how these things are playing out. It is important that we begin to <clears throat> put things well in order so that Nigeria can, you know, have a change and truly we can all have that, uh, you know, the difference that we desire. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, it is, uh, it is a matter of serious attention, caution, and uh, we all need to face the reality that we cannot continue with the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. The truth remains, if Nigeria is going to change, if we're going to get all that is needed, every single one of us needs to begin to understand that, you know, things cannot continue like this. Things can just not continue like this. Buhari is organizing foreign trips, not just only for himself, you know, but all, all the officials, you know, allocations has been given as to, you know, the amount they will be spending, you know, to ensure that every one of them they can have foreign treatment. Why can't that money be used to, you know, to revamp our, our, uh, you know, the 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 healthcare system we have, and bring in cutting edge technology, uh, you know, uh, equipment that could serve the people better, not some people but everyone. And truly, sincerely speaking, the nation can become a better place. Why are we not doing that? Why are we leaving things to chance? Why are we not speaking up? You know, yes, Tinubu is working, but who is he working for? Is he working for us or himself? Convoy 124 convoy. 124. 124. 124. So what exactly is going on? What exactly is going on here? So these are some of the things that are happening. And nobody should sit back here and think that things can just be like that without honest, sincere you know, truth on how to and how these things can be sorted. Nobody wants a country that is not progressive, that is not moving forward. Everybody wants things to be done decently and in order. And until we begin to rise up to the occasion and ensure that truth is being manifested, none of us will come out of the current dispensation and the thing that we have put ourselves in. So it is important, it is wise that we begin to work and ensure that we do what is right. You know, it is it is very, very important that nobody takes, you know, take advantage of that which belongs to us. You said you are cutting costs, you are you are cutting, you are touching the crumbs, but you're not really touching the main thing and the real thing. 
you see the real thing you're not touching the real thing you're not you're not working at it you're leaving the real thing to chance so leave us a comment we'd love to hear from you please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news remember you have a voice remember that we cannot remain like this okay god bless have a fantastic and a lovely day from us is bye for now